everyone and welcome back to Next Stage Designs with me Sylvia. In today's video I am going to show you how to crochet this really cool barret head. So for today's barret head, I will be using this yarn. It's called Noodles Chunky, but it feels more like Aran yarn, I would say. So you can use category 4 or category 5 yarn for this barret head. And I bought this yarn on eBay and I seen some on Amazon as well. If you can't find this yarn, of course, you can use any acrylic category 4 or 5 yarn as well. So you don't have to use exactly the same like I'm using in today's video. I will be using one ball of this yarn. Also, I will be using 5 millimeters hook. You can use 5.5 or 6. You will need a yarn needle, pair of scissors and a tape measure. First, we are going to start with the slip knot. Hold your yarn and like so, wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross. Go under this first one, on top of the second one, pull it down and twist your hook and release. And this is your slip knot. Next, we are going to chain four. Yarn over and pull through the loop you had on your hook. So this is your first chain. Second, third, and fourth. So we have chain of four. Now we are going to slip stitch into this very first chain right here. Insert your hook, like so. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop you had on your hook like so and this is your slip stitch now we have created the ring for round one we are going to chain three one two and three and this chain of three is counting as your first double crochet throughout this pattern next inside this ring make sure you go right in the center right here into that gap you will place double crochet. To do so, you are going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, bring it up three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So now you have two double crochet because this chain of three is counting as your first. Chain two, one and two. Now you are going to do exactly the same. So we will place two double crochet inside that ring again. So one double crochet and two. And again, chain two, like we done here. So we have one and two. And again, repeat exactly the same. Two more double crochet. One and two, chain two. And you will repeat this all the way around. You will place two double crochet, chain two, and you will need to have altogether six pairs of these two double crochet and with the chain of two between. We can also call these pairs of two double crochet clusters. So I will do one and two, chain two, and I need one more cluster. 
now let's count one two three four five and six chain two one and two and we are going to slip stitch on top of this chain of three right here insert your hook like so yarn over pull through and pull through the loop you had on your hook and that's how you finish every round so for this round one we have done six of these pairs with the chain of two between them so we have round one completed for round two chain three again one two and three and this chain of three is counting as your first double crochet now into the same place where is the chain of three coming from right here you will place two more double crochet into the same place so one double crochet and one more double crochet into the same place so you will have three double crochet because this chain of three is counting as your first so we place three double crochet on top of the first double crochet from the previous round now into the next stitch or on top of the next double crochet you will place only one double crochet like so now we are going to chain three one two and three and we will repeat it like so so this chain of three then into the same place where is your chain of three you will place two more double crochet and into the next chain or on top of the second double crochet from the previous round you will place only one double crochet and then you will chain three so let's repeat it one more time and that's how you are going to repeat it all the way around so our first three double crochet will be on top of this double crochet here and into the next you will place only one double crochet so let's repeat it one more time into this stitch here on top of the double crochet from previous round you will place three double crochet that's your increase and into the next stitch you will place only one double crochet like so so we place three double crochet on top of this double crochet and on top of this double crochet we placed only one double crochet now chain three again and that's how we are going to repeat it all the way around so on top of this first double crochet here you will place again your increase or three double crochet into the same place into the next stitch you will place only one double crochet and chain three so repeat it all the way around so i am finishing this around two i chain three and i am going to do it one more time so i will place three double crochet right here and into the next one i will place only one chain three and finish your round slip stitch on top of this chain of three one two and three insert your hook and work your slip stitch like so and this is your round two completed round three chain three again one two and three and this chain of three is counting as your first double crochet now into the same place where is your chain of three coming from you are going to place two more double crochet so chain of three is your first double crochet and you need two more so one and two and now you have three double crochet again see daisy what is this now you will find the next stitch which is sometimes hiding like this so you need to find it it's right here on top of this double crochet from previous round and you will place one double crochet 
like so. And then you will have two stitches left. Into those two stitches, always into the last two stitches, you will work two double crochet together. To do so, we are going to yarn over insert, yarn over pull through two, do not finish your double crochet, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, bring it up, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through all three. And this is your decrease or two double crochet together. Now we are going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And we are going to repeat this all the way around. So again, into this very first stitch, you will place three double crochet into the same place. Then into the next stitch, you will place only one double crochet and then we will end up with two double crochet together again into the last two stitches. So this is my very first one. So I will place three double crochet all together into the same place, one, two, and three, like so, one, two, and three, on top of this double crochet from previous round. And now, as you can see, I have three stitches left. So into the next one, I will place double crochet and into those last two stitches, I will do two double crochet together. So into this next one, double crochet, and into those last two, I will do two double crochet together or decrease. So yarn over, bring it up, pull through two, do not finish your double crochet, yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through all three. And that's your two double crochet together. So we have done three double crochet on top of this very first double crochet from previous round. Into the next one, we placed only one double crochet and then we ended with two double crochet together into those last two stitches. Now we are going to repeat it. So chain four, one, two, three, and four, and you will repeat this all the way around. And as your circle will get bigger and bigger, you will get more of this single double crochet between your increase and decrease. So continue like so all the way around. Chain four, place three double crochet into this very first one, into the next one only one double crochet and finish with two double crochet together into your last two stitches. Chain four and continue. So I am finishing this around three, chain four, and again, slip stitch on top of this chain of three. And you will always slip stitch and finish every round like so. Chain three, and this is our round three completed. For round four, we already chain three, which is counting as our first double crochet, and again, we'll be placing two more double crochet into the same place as your chain of three. So one double crochet and one more into the same place. So one, two and three on top of this very first double crochet. Now into the next stitch, you will place one double crochet. And into the next stitch, you will place one double crochet. So you will place one double crochet into the next two stitches like so. And then you will end up with two stitches again and you will do your two double crochet together, your decrease. And we already know how to do it. Now for this round, we'll be chaining five. One, two, three, four, and five. So into this very first stitch, we again placed three double crochet all together 
and into the next two stitches we placed one double crochet and then we have done in the last two stitches our two double crochet together decrease so we will always start with the increase into the very first stage one two three and chain of three is counting as your first one and as you get bigger you will have more of these double crochet between your increase and your last decrease so we chain five and we are going to repeat so all the way around so I am finishing this around and again I chain five and I am going to place three double crochet on top of this stitch here into the next one I will place one and into the next one I will place one so I have one double crochet into the next two stitches and then I will do my two double crochet decrease into the last two stitches chain five and slip stitch on top of the chain of three to complete your round like so and this is the round four completed round five chain three and do two more double crochet into the same place as your chain of three now you will place one double crochet into the next three stitches so into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet and into the next stitch one double crochet and you will end up with two double crochet and we are going to work our decrease or two double crochet together for this round five we are going to chain six one two three four five and six so for this around five we have done three double crochet and then one double crochet into the next three stitches and we ended with two double crochet together into those last two stitches and we chain six repeat all the way around now i am finishing this around five and i will slip stitch on top of this chain of three to complete my round like so and this is the round five completed for round six chain three and place two more double crochet into the same place as your chain of three and remember chain of three is counting always as your first double crochet so you will have three double crochet into this very first stitch now you will place one double crochet into the next four stitches so one two three and four and again as you can see we place three into this very first one and then one double crochet into the next four and now we have only two stitches left here and we already know we will be placing two double crochet together into those last two stitches which is your decrease now we are going to chain seven one two three four five six and seven so we have one extra chain and one extra double crochet between your increase and your decrease for these around six continue all the way around so I'm finishing this around six. I will chain seven here 
and as we already know we are going to slip stitch on top of this chain of three to complete our round like so and this is our round six completed so we have one extra double crochet between your increase and decrease and one extra chain for this round six round seven chain three and place two more double crochet into the same place where is your chain of three like so so you have one two three double crochet into this very first stitch now you will place one double crochet into the next five stitches so one two three four and five like so so one two three into this very first one and then you have one double crochet into the next five stitches and again you will have only two stitches left and we already know we need to do our decrease into those last two stitches like so for this round seven you are going to chain eight so one two three four five six seven and eight like so so again we have one extra double crochet between our increase and decrease and one extra chain so continue like so all the way around so i am finishing at this around seven i need to chain eight and slip stitch on top of this chain of three like so to complete our round chain three for the next round and this was our round seven completed so we have one extra double crochet between our increase and our decrease and one extra chain for this round seven so we already chain three for round eight and we are going to place two more double crochet into the same place and for this round eight you will have again one extra double crochet between your increase and decrease so for this round eight you will place one double crochet into the next six stitches like so so one two three four five and six and again you have only two stitches left so we are going to do our two double crochet together decrease like so now we are going to chain nine like so so again for this around we have again extra double crochet between increase and decrease and one extra chain continue all the way around round nine chain three and place two more double crochet into the same place as your chain of three for this round we are going to place one double crochet into the next seven stitches one two three four five six and seven again we have two stitches left so do your two double crochet together decrease like so now chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 for this round so again we have one extra double crochet between our increase and decrease and also we have one extra chain for this round repeat all the way around 
So I am finishing this round. I'm going to chain 10 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And slip stitch on top of this chain of 3 to complete your round like so. Now let me show you how beautiful this circle looks. So let me just stretch it slightly and this was our round 9 and we had again one extra double crochet and one extra chain. So this is our round 9 completed. Let me measure. So my head across is about 11 inches or 28 centimeters. And this was our last round of increasing. Next round, round 10, will be decrease round because now we need to make our head a little bit smaller so we will go nicely around our head. Chain 3 and now into the next two stitches you will work your decrease. So into this one here, that's your first and that's your second and into these two stitches you will do decrease. So yarn over, pull through two, do not finish your double crochet, yarn over, insert, four loops, pull through two and pull through two the same as we did before but now we are working this decrease at the start and at the end so we have our first decrease into the next stitch you will place double crochet into the next stitch you will place double crochet into the next stitch you will place double crochet until you have only two stitches left so we place one double crochet into the next six stitches and then we have two stitches left and we will work our decrease again like so. So we have decrease at the start and from previous round we had chain of 10 but now we need to decrease so we will have chain of 9 because we need to make our head smaller. So chain 9 like so. And you will do so all the way around. You will do one decrease at the start. But first you will always start with one double crochet like so into this very first stitch. And then into the next two stitches you will do your decrease. And then you will have six double crochet between your decreases. So one double crochet into the next six stitches and then you will do your decrease into the last two stitches like so. Chain nine and repeat it all the way around. Decrease, one double crochet into the next six stitches, decrease and chain nine. Like so. I will show you one more time. So always start with double crochet into the very first one, then you do your decrease into the next two stitches, then you will do one double crochet into the next six stitches and then into the last two stitches you will do your decrease again, chain nine. And that's your repeat for this round 10. So I'm finishing here chain 9 and slip stitch on top of the chain of 3 as we did before and you can already see the head is getting smaller and it's curling in which is what we want. So slip stitch on top of this chain of 3 like so as we did before to complete your round like so. So this is your first round of decrease. This is the wrong side, this is the right side. 
and it's curling the way we want it like this round 11 chain 3 again and repeat around 10 so you will do decrease into the next two stitches which is this one here and the next one so do your decrease here and now you will have one double crochet into the next four stitches so one two three and four and you will have only two stitches left so do your decrease again so you will have decrease and then one double crochet into the next four stitches and then you will have decrease again now we are going to chain eight one two three four five six seven eight repeat like so all the way around so i am finishing here i already chain eight and i am going to show you one more time so i will place double crochet into this very first one and into the next two stitches i will do my two together decrease and then one double crochet into the next four stitches and then i will do two double crochet together into those last two stitches like so chain eight and finish slip stitch on top of the chain of three like so now you will try your head on and if you prefer it like so little bit loose you are going to stop here but because i like my head more tighter around my head i will do one more round of decrease but that last round will be a little bit different we will do only one decrease at the start so as this is too big for me i will do this last round but it's up to you maybe you prefer your barrette head to be more loose if so you will stop and you will skip this round if you don't need it so for this round 12 you will chain three and you will do only one decrease at the start so into the next two stitches you will do your first decrease like so to double crochet together at the start and then you will simply place a one double crochet into the next four stitches left there will be no decrease at the end as we did before so you will simply place one double crochet into those four stitches now we are going to chain seven one two three four five six and seven like so and that's how you are going to repeat it all the way around for this around one decrease at the start like we did here and then you will finish with one double crochet into the next four stitches but you will have one chain less so for this round you will have seven so work your first double crochet then decrease at the start and finish with one double crochet into the next four stitches so you will have only one decrease at the start chain seven and repeat all the way around like we did here so I chain seven and I am going to slip stitch on top of this chain of three like so to complete my round. Now I am going to chain one like this because we are done with the decreasing rounds and our head is done. And it will stretch a little bit even if you have used acrylic yarn as well. 
and for this set I only use one ball of this yarn and also it's only 12 rounds so it's super easy and very fast. Next I'm going to show you how to work on the brim. So I already chain one here and into the same place where is this chain of one I am going to place single crochet. So place single crochet like so and this is your very first stitch into the next one into the next one so you will place one single crochet into the next five stitches and you should have altogether six single crochet because you finish with six double crochet in previous round so on top of those double crochet we are placing one single crochet as you can see one two three four five six double crochet so you place single crochet on each of those double crochet from the previous round and this is my very first one now from the last round we chain seven of these chains so now we will have to place seven single crochet on this chain like so so you will work like this so this is my first single crochet one two three, four, five, six and seven. As we have chain of seven we need to place seven single crochet. Now find your first stitch here and again work your six single crochet on top of these six double crochet from previous round and you can also spread the stitches like this so it will look much better continue like so all the way around and remember once you reach the chain of seven you will place your seven single crochet like so So I will place my last seven single crochet on this chain of seven and now I am at this start. From now on we are not going to slip stitch but from now on we are going to work single crochet but only back loop like so. So work under your back loop your first single crochet and place your stitch marker so you know where is your start and where is your finish and from now on you will work like this into the spiral single crochet back loop only and you will work like this for as many rounds as you like so for my head I have done five rounds but you can go more or less it's up to you And once you reach those stitches on the chain, remember you still work single crochet back loop only. So find those back loops like so. So work around and around and when you reach the stitch marker you simply continue you won't be slip stitching or anything you will simply work 
single crochet back loop only you can leave the stitch marker into the same place and simply just work like this or you can replace it after each round it's up to you so continue working for as many rounds as you like single crochet back loop only and for my head i have done five rounds but as i said you can go even wider to add more rounds or less it's up to you so once i'm done i'm going to show you how to fasten off and then how to hide the end so prepare your yarn needle and i am finishing my last round and as you can see where is your stitch marker it should be in the line with your last stitch so once you are done you will place a slip stitch into the first stitch like so but under the both loops like this so this way it will be much stronger so you will have front and back loop like this work your slip stitch chain one and fasten off and leave your yarn and a little bit longer so you can hide it in remove your stitch marker as you don't need it anymore fasten off like this and hide the end i prefer to hide it from the inside so right here like this and make sure it's nice and secured cut the yarn and do exactly the same with this end inside your head and this is our brim completed you can go wider or you can go even thinner than me it's up to you so this is our lovely butted head perfect for spring or the summer and i done it in two colors of course you can use acrylic yarn as well and make it in any color you like or prefer so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as i did don't forget to like it share it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel unique stitch designs for more ideas from me sylvia and please don't forget to find me on social medias i am on facebook instagram pinterest and tiktok thank you very much for watching